you guys see this outfit right now? Good morning. So this morning we are trying the whipped coffee. I got this the other day, um, just like instant coffee. That's basically what you need, sugar and water. And then you mix it with milk. We just pulled this out of the drawer. I totally forgot that we even had those little whiskey guy. So now we're doing two tablespoons of, this is a half tablespoon though, so I have to do four of them, of hot water. Four, so basically the ratio is like you wanna do equal parts of everything. And then I'm gonna froth that up. I'm gonna use my frother, I'm really lucky I have one of these because everyone's like hand mixing that and that takes a while. It's kind of splashing everywhere, so keep that in mind you guys. But... And then basically you take a cup and you're supposed to just fill it with your milk of your choice. I'm just using the almond milk that I've been using in all of my coffees. And then you top it with the, the whipped part. I don't know, I think I messed up you guys, but it doesn't. My mom stepped in to help me. Look, cause look how much more you'll get. Like, are you worried that you don't have enough coffee in here? Is um, that what you're saying? Probably. Okay, so let's get that. Maybe next time make two packages. Okay. Yep. And then maybe if you're worried about it splattering out, maybe try something a little like deeper. Okay. Like almost okay. froth it in. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's it, you guys. Uh, that's the frothed coffee. I mean, I made it correctly. Like I did the recipe, so I don't know. It's Stir up. I feel like it's gonna look better than it tastes. Here you go. Oh, I like it. It looks good. You wanna try it? No thanks. <laughs> you taste a lot of sugar, not gonna lie. Good morning. We're gonna get ready for the day. What do we have on deck? It's nothing too crazy. Wearing my don't text crop tea. You guys can get them shop.podcast1.com slash gals. You know. Already know. I'm just putting on makeup because today we are podcasting. Oh no, I'm like nearly out of this. I'm gonna have to order some more because I love it. The It Cosmetic CC Cream. Absolute fire. We are podcasting today. I'm going for a car ride with my dad. He has like a really cool car, which I'll show you guys later, that he built himself. It's freaking dope. And he was like, do you wanna go for a car ride? I was like, yeah, I'll go for a car ride, dad. I really don't need makeup on, but some days it makes me feel better, you know? I also want to go downstairs after this and make some more of those energy bites I made in the last vlog. So if you haven't watched that, go watch it. They turned out so good and my whole family loved them and normally no shade to do my brother and my dad but when I make like more of like a healthy treat or if we buy something that's a little bit healthier like my brother and my dad aren't really into it because they just like eat their own thing but the whole family was obsessed with them so I have to go make some more. They were really freaking good. Maybe should I double the recipe? I feel like that would be a lot but I have that in the last vlog and it was like these like little oat bites. They were so good. A few days ago I stayed up until four but then yesterday I went to bed at like 9.30 and I think I corrected my sleep schedule because even one night staying up till four really throws me off because I just don't do that. Even if it's like regular life, like I just don't stay up late really like that. That's that's too late, that's absurd. I'm always the one to like leave the bar and tell one person that I'm leaving and then text everyone and be like, oh, like I wasn't feeling well I left because I'm freaking lame. The lighting right now is fire from this ring light. I just have to say it. Okay, I'm gonna finish this up and Talk to you guys in a minute. Okay, I'm getting out all the ingredients to make the energy balls. All right, this is all we have for this recipe. Let's do it. So I just made myself my second coffee of the day because it's around noon and I'm about to podcast with Danielle so I have all my equipment out. I'm gonna turn on the mic. We like to put on big headphones so we don't have sound bleeding out. I have my water and I'm gonna move my laptop over here. Perfect, I have like 15 minutes before we start. I threw on a sweatshirt because I was a little chilly. The Hanes one that I've been wearing but underneath is my Gals on the Go. Don't text cropped tea, which I love. Look who it is, you guys. Hello, guys. With, with her cookie oh. straw and all. <laughs> Cookie straw came to Tampa, baby. <laughs> We're about to record an episode. You guys can check it out. Link below. Podcast with Danielle. I wrote down Enneagram test here because I really want to do it later. Just posted a vid and I am ready. You're probably like, where are you going, Brooke? Where? There's nowhere to go. I'm going for a ride in my dad's car. I'm gonna show you it. He spent a long time building this car. It's been like three years now. It's a 57 Chevy. I don't know much about cars. 
I haven't driven in it yet. I know it just kind of like, it's like recently ready. I'm gonna edit him a video of like the process of production because he took a bunch of pictures and stuff through the process. It's been like almost since I left for college. It was like his personal project that he worked on. So I'm really excited. But I'm just wearing my black crew neck from Hanes, Lululemon leggings, and then I brought this jacket to take pictures with. I don't even really need it tied around the waist. So I just have it there for now. So these Ray-Ban glasses and we're just gonna go drive to like a little beach in our town and park it and like listen to music or something I don't really don't know, but I'm excited on a side note. It is a beautiful beautiful day. So I'm excited My dad said it's medium temperature. I would agree and this This is the car. I don't know what to show you guys of it But it's really freaking cool and it did such a nice job with it. This is the garage. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys it. I don't really spend much time out here, obviously, but my dad is very, like, handy. Like, he's he's good at all that stuff. Like, I feel like anytime I'm, like, I need something hung or built or anything, like, he can do it, which is really cool. No, I don't talk about my dad too much, I feel like, on my channel, and it's not because we don't have a great relationship. Like, we do have a really good relationship. I'm definitely closer with my mom. That's just, like, the dynamic in my family. I feel like my brother's closer with my dad, and I'm closer with my mom, probably just because of more in common, but I still, I'm very close with my dad. We have a great relationship, so he's the best. Vroom vroom. <laughs> Can this go on the highway? Yeah. Did you want to go for a walk? Oh, I can't. Am I on camera? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> what are you eating? I just put a couple of nuts in my mouth because I'm starving. I haven't eaten. Oh yes, I did. I actually have chicken burger. She hasn't eaten. <laughs> I'm very busy right now. Yeah, so am I. You look very busy. I know, I'm about to take an Enneagram test. <laughs> Bye. I think we're about to go eat dinner, so I'm gonna head downstairs, but it was fun driving around with my dad. And then we stopped at um, like an elementary school and took some photos with the car, so it was fun. Only 5.30, but I didn't really eat too much today, so I'm excited. Well, it looks like it's burnt, but it's really not though. It's, you know what it is, it's the- um... The glaze. Yeah. Marinade? Yes. Oh my gosh, yum. Please. <laughs> <laughs> They're cute. We have some baked potatoes, but my mom and I are having a sweet potato. Avocado on the side, caprese salad, a regular salad, and then chicken and bread, I guess. It's a big dinner. Post dinner now, I'm gonna go for a little walk. Nothing too intense at all. I'm not gonna do any like hills or anything, but just walk off dinner and Get a good walk in. I'm wearing Arlen's merch sweatshirt, but it's like pretty lightweight, so I like that. Same leggings as before, my Wonder Unders, and then I put on my Brooks shoes for walking, Key or Quay sunglasses, and then I have my AirPods and my phone. I'm gonna listen to Girls Gotta Eat while I walk. <laughs> So you guys recommended, a lot of you guys recommended this Enneagram test, which is $12, but apparently it's really comprehensive and I'm okay to pay that because um, I'm gonna take the test really seriously. It's 144 questions. They said it's gonna take 40 minutes and it's from the Enneagram Institute. I'll let you know when it's over, I guess, how it goes, but a lot of you guys recommended this one on Instagram. I posted a story. Okay, the results are type seven, which I wasn't expecting at all, but I mean, this totally makes sense. It says the busy variety seeking type, spontaneous, versatile, distractible, and scattered. It says that we're like excitable, spontaneous, optimistic, outgoing, and honestly, that fits my life. Like the more and more I think about it, I have always just done random stuff. Like I went to college in such a random state, moved to a random place after college, like I'm down for new things. So. Oh, this totally makes sense. People were saying that I'd be a three. I don't think I'm that. That was my next one. I got a 22, seven and a 21, three. I just don't think like, this is so bad of saying this about myself. I don't think I'm like that big of a high achiever. Like that the type three is literally the achiever and it's like all about like being productive and like what all that stuff. And you guys know, I know I'm not really like that. So I think seven probably more fits and it's the enthusiast is what it says. Energy and enthusiasm, they get things going. And I've always been like optimistic and stuff, so I guess that's what I am. I don't know. If you guys are type seven, let me know. Um, if you follow Enneagram, let me know. If you've taken any Enneagram tests, let me know what you guys are. Do you follow like meme accounts for it and stuff? I don't, uh, uh, what do I do with this information now? <laughs> Apparently there's this book that could like tell me about it, but I have the information now, so that's cool. The 